Hello friends, I'm Adreja. Welcome to my study room. Today, we are going to learn about harmful microorganisms from the chapter, chapter 2, Microorganisms, Friend and Foe of Class 8 Science. So, in the previous video, we have learned about useful microorganisms, how microorganisms are useful in our day-to-day -day life. And today, we are going to learn about harmful microorganisms, how microorganisms can even be harmful to humans, not only humans, to plants, animals, etc. So, first, these microorganisms, the harmful microorganisms, spread diseases, okay? Diseases from one person to another. Not only humans, not only from one human to another, it can even spread to animals, to plants. So, one harmful effect of microorganism is it spreads diseases in plants, animals, humans, etc. And it can also spoil the food. You have heard of food spoiling, right? So it can also spoil the food, causing in food poisoning, causing food poisoning, right? So these are the harmful effects of microorganisms. So first, the disease-causing microorganisms means the harmful microbes that causes diseases are known as pathogens. This is a very important point. The disease-causing microorganisms are known as pathogens. Okay? And this can also be commonly known as germs. G-E-R-M-S, germs. Okay? I'm writing it down. It can be known as pathogens or it can be known as germs. Okay, it can be also known as pathogens and it can be also known as germs. It's mostly called pathogen, it is also commonly known as germs. So, these pathogens, how does these pathogens cause diseases? Okay, they can't just simply cause diseases, right? These pathogens have to enter our human body to cause a disease, right? So, these pathogens enter our human body. How does this enter our human body? It enters our human body through the air we breathe. We breathe in air, right? It can enter through the air we breathe, to the food we eat, the water we drink, and even through direct contact by an infected person. Suppose a person is infected from any disease, if we touch him or her, or we use his used towel, clothes, etc., then it can also be spread to us, to a healthy human being, okay? So how does it how does it spread? It spreads through the air we breathe, through the water we drink, the food we eat, through the direct contact and even through an animal, animal vector, for example mosquito. They can also spread diseases from an infected human being to a healthy human being. So these diseases that can be spread from the air, water, food, direct contact or by any animal, these diseases are known as communicable diseases what are these diseases known as communicable diseases okay i'm writing it down communicable diseases what are communicable diseases this diseases diseases spread from one person to another these diseases can spread from one person to another okay so examples of communicable diseases are, we're going to learn about them. For example, typhoid, cholera, measles, chicken pox, common cold, etc. These are some examples. There are a lot of communicable diseases. These are some examples. So now, first we are going to learn about infection through air. How is it transmitted by air, okay, to a healthy human being? How is it transmitted by air, the communicable diseases? So what happens when an infected person? means when a person is infected from a disease um, for example let's take common cold okay as it can be trans transmitted by air so when a person is suffering from common cold and if he or she sneezes okay then um, the virus of the common cold is present in their mouth and nose okay the virus is present in their mouth and nose so if he or she sneezes then the viruses comes into the air into the surroundings right and suppose another healthy person breathes in the air then the virus is going inside the healthy person's body right and the virus goes inside the healthy person's body and then 
it causes a disease in the healthy person it will cause common cold in the healthy person so this is how um, diseases are spread by air from an infected person to a healthy person now the next one is infection through water how is um, diseases caused by water um, for example there are many diseases that are caused by water like jaundice typhoid cholera dysentery these are different type of diseases that are caused by water how are they caused by water when we drink contaminated water okay when we drink contaminated water or even food okay infection by water and food so when we drink contaminated water means um the water is spoiled okay there is there are some bacteria in the water so that causes a disease in a healthy human being now how are they spread they are spread by flies house flies for example what happens these house flies sit on garbage and the garbage is likely to have different type of bacteria and different type of pathogens right so they sit on the garbage and even they can sit on the animal excreta okay means animal urine so they sit on the garbage and the pathogens stick to their body right and when the house fly flies and sits on uncovered food means the food which is not covered it sits sits on any food then the pathogens that were present in the garbage and animal excreta uh, that is in the house fly house flies body right so it sticks to the food the uncovered food and if you eat that contaminated food or it can even be water then it causes a disease for example typhoid cholera jaundice etc this is how it is spread by water this is how infections occur by through water and food okay so for this we always need to cover our food if you cook a food then you must cover it before you eat it because if you don't cover it house flies will sit on the food right and it may have any pathogen stuck to its body so it can cause diseases so a preventive measure of this infections through water and food is we must cover our food okay and we must eat covered food okay so this is this was the infection through water and food and there is another one that is infection through animal vector how is it caused by animals for example mosquito mosquitoes causes a lot of diseases we know dengue dengue is a very common disease right now so dengue is caused by a mosquito it is known as aedes mosquito not only any aedes mosquito it is caused by female aedes mosquito okay and there is malaria malaria is caused by female anopheles mosquito so these mosquitoes causes this diseases i'm writing it down dengue is caused by female aedes mosquito okay and malaria is caused by female anopheles mosquito okay so dengue is caused by female aedes mosquito and malaria is caused by female anopheles mosquito so mosquitoes can cause a lot of diseases how do these mosquitoes causes diseases for example if a suppose let's take example of female anopheles mosquito if a female anopheles mosquito bites a malaria patient means a person is when a person is suffering from malaria if a female anopheles mosquito bites a malaria patient then it sucks out the malaria means the pathogen of malaria is plasmodium so the female anopheles mosquito sucks the pathogen from the malaria patient and when the female anopheles mosquito bites a healthy human being means a human who is not suffering from malaria okay when a female anopheles mosquito bites a healthy human being then the plasmodium plasmodium moves into the healthy human being's body and it causes malaria in that human this is how mosquitoes spread diseases from one person to another so we must prevent these diseases caused by mosquitoes so how will we prevent this we can prevent this by preventing mosquito breeding means the breeding of mosquitoes so where do mosquitoes breed the mosquitoes mostly breed in water okay they breed in water only 
So a very important preventive measure is we must not let water stag anywhere. Okay, we must not let water stag anywhere. It can be in coolers, don't let water stag in coolers or even in flower pots or in the tires, okay, in the drains. So don't let water stag anywhere. So this is a very important preventive measure of mosquito. If the water is not there, then the mosquito breeding will also not happen and these diseases will become less. So this is a preventive measure of mosquito. Now, we are going to learn about some diseases and how are they caused by different bacteria, viruses, protozoa, etc.